In this video, I will be going as far into the flash as seen in this image to replace the flash bulb of this Nikon SB600 speed light. Before we begin, change the zoom setting to 50 millimeters for ease of access to the internal screws later. First, carefully peel off both rubber ends on the bounce adjuster. They're both adhered with a removable adhesive. This particular unit is missing the bounce adjuster rubber and button, but you will need to remove yours by simply peeling back the glued on piece in the same manner as the rubber on the opposite side. The flash is still adjustable without the rubber button by pressing here. Set the flash bounce to 90 degrees and lay it on its side with the bounce adjust button facing up. You must discharge the capacitor. Get your resistor and hold it with a tool like this. Insert each leg of the resistor into the provided holes to discharge the capacitor. This will prevent shocking and arcing during disassembly. Now with a small Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws on each side of the inner half of the flash bounce on the same side as the big red infrared window. You can leave the other two on each side in place. Now remove these two Phillips head screws holding the two halves of the bounce case together. Lift off the inner half of the case and slide out this Fresnel lens. Next you will remove only these four Phillips head screws from the lighting unit. First you'll remove these two. Notice that they are the same as each other, but different than these two, which I will now remove. Setting the flash zoom to 50 millimeters has made accessing these screws much easier. Lift out the lighting unit carefully. Due to the intricate process to replace the bulb, I highly suggest mounting the lighting unit onto a piece of wood with a small screw like this. This will prevent damage to the wires and the zoom brush while providing leverage during soldering. The solder inside the speed light is lead free, so be prepared with a soldering iron that can reach appropriate temperatures. With your soldering iron, remove the small PCB on this end of the bulb, which I'll refer to as the non-trigger end. With your soldering iron, remove this uppermost white wire on the trigger coil. This wire will be removed with the bulb and replaced, so trim the wire short to help during removal. Unhook the elastic from around the bulb. Although unusual, the bulb on this unit is actually broken, so the end of the bulb separated from the rest of the bulb. With your soldering iron, heat the trigger end of the bulb while gripping and gently pulling the opposite end with needle nose pliers. As it releases, guide the white wire and gently pull the bulb all the way out. To aid in reassembly, carefully remove the flash glass retainer with needle nose pliers. With a small flathead screwdriver, gently pry out the flash glass. Now it's time to insert the new bulb. Do not touch the new xenon bulb with your fingers. If needed, use a high quality cleaning solution and a new microfiber cloth to gently clean the bulb. Insert the bulb with the white wire slightly bent out and facing upward. Route the wire through the opening and toward the trigger coil.
guide the bulb through the reflective fixture, through the elastic ring, and toward the hole in the circuit board. With your soldering iron, heat the trigger end while gripping the opposite end with the needle nose pliers, and push the bulb through the melted solder. Once it's fully inserted, add more solder if necessary. Replace the end of the elastic onto the non-trigger end of the bulb. With your soldering iron, heat the small PCB and push it back completely onto the side of the bulb. Trim and strip the white wire. With your soldering iron, replace the wire back onto the trigger coil. Now replace the flash glass by setting this end on first and gently pressing the other end. Snap back on the flash glass retainer. Now you can release the lighting unit and set it gently back into the case. Check the zoom brushes to make sure they're still intact and straight. Replace the four Phillips head screws into the proper locations. and verify again that the zoom brushes are properly positioned and touching the copper contacts. Set the Fresno lens back onto the case, noting the orientation of the notch. Replace the inner half of the case. Replace the two Phillips head screws holding the two halves of the bounce case together. Check the slide out wide angle lens to make sure it still properly operates. Replace the two Phillips head screws on each side of the flash bounce. Re-adhere the rubber sides, noting this side has a notch that must match with the hole. This particular unit is still missing the bounce adjust rubber end button, so I will stop here and test the unit. 